Hi all and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about drugstore affordable lipsticks, in particular autumnal full colours which are my favourites so I've got lots of berry colours here for you today. To start off with I'm going to talk about a lip primer I've started using this year which I find making the colour of lipsticks come out a lot better and it also adds a little bit of moisture so you don't get that uncomfortable feeling which is the NYX Lip Primer. So I'm going to start off with a lipstick I've had for about a year so it is a little bit messy which is the Revlon Ultra HD lipstick and this one is in Iris and it's a really pretty mauvey colour. I've done a review on this before so I'm going to put the link in the description so you can see. But the next one I'm going to do is a brown um, and this is from the Kate Nude Collection with Rimmel but it's a really pretty deep brown. This is the darkest one they do and it's in 48. If the next one I've got I only got yesterday and it's pretty shiny and yeah let's just get on with it. It's um, one of the new L'Oreal Palace lip paint. And I got this one in called Dracula Blood. And I actually did think when I put it on, this would be really, really good for Halloween. Because it is is amazing. Next, I'm going to use one of the NYX lipsticks. And this is one of the liquid suede ones. And I think this is one of the most popular colours out there. And it is a real typical deep purple all these are quite similar to be fair even though i've got the primer on what i would say is especially with liquid lipsticks you might want to use a lip liner it just gives that more bold perfect line because this hasn't gone perfect none of them have i think with a dark lipstick you just need to go get a liner it's just a little bit better but this one i love this one this is really really wearable um it'd be great for every day or night time it's the max factor one which comes with the balm and it just i'm just so impressed with it yesterday before i reapplied at half past five i had three cups of coffee stupid amounts of water i ate my dinner and I had some Oreos and it did not move whatsoever. That's a winner for me because I'm a very low maintenance person and when I wear lipstick I'm always checking, 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 checking. And this was just amazing and the colour was great. Um, so I really, really recommend and I'm going to get a couple of the reds because I am definitely a red lipstick girl. So those are the autumnal lipsticks I'm using at the moment, so the berry based ones. I have got some reds as well that I like to wear. I can do my favourite reds video if you want, so just let me know and leave a comment. I've also got some lip liners that go quite well with them. So um, Rimmel in Black Tulip is a dark colour. And then I have the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Soft Spoken. This, both of these would be good as their own sort of colour as well. So you could just pop these all over the lips and be done. I'm just going to line my lips over um, this lipstick now. That's actually the perfect colour for the Matte Factor one. And you can see it just gives a more even line to your lips. And I just think that that works really well with all these liquid ones because they do get a little bit messy. So guys, that brings me to the end of the video. My top berry autumn fall lipsticks, which are all available from drugstores, Superdrug Boots, most supermarkets now in the UK, and they were all under £10. And they all last really, really well. The colour payoff is great. And I wear all of them quite a lot. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I think I'm probably going to do one on this lipstick on its own and see how long it stays on without me touching it up, how much I drink or eat, and I'll do sort of a vlog on it. If you're really interested in that, let me know, because I think it would be quite interesting, and it gives me an excuse to go and buy one of the red ones. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.